Hello everyone, this is Zibo and welcome to today's In The News. So the Garden Tales KR patch has dropped for a while already. And in today's video, I'm going to run through with you guys what to expect in the upcoming patch so that you guys can better prepare yourself for the next patch of Garden Tales. And let us begin. So the first one, as usual, we'll run through the event. This time around, we have the Rift Play event, which is known as Unrecorded World Nightmare. Basically, it's the release of the Nightmare World 11. So I already completed it. I already uploaded all the different stages on the channel. So if you want to watch it, if you want to know where are all the pieces, do go and check it out on the channel. I'll link it up on the card above. And for the event, right, it's Rift Play. So as usual, and the event or rather the heroes for bonus points are as below. So you have Yuse, Future Princess, Bianca, Sohi, Marian, as well as White Beast and Knight. And the next thing is definitely the event rewards. So I'll slowly scroll through the event rewards for you guys to see. So as usual, it's freebies and stuff, but it's for better planning, so why not? For the events tab this time round, we have the usual event rift missions as well as the stamina missions. So for these two types of mission, you will get the shots for your water unique heroes, your usual legend stones, awakening stones, as well as your option reset stone. So do save up your stamina if you want to farm up all these water heroes. And also do save up um, gem so that you can do reset for event rift so that you can hit the 60 time in case you're busy on certain days. So I'll scroll through as you guys can see. I already claimed the earlier stages. So yep. And let us move on to the next part. And the next part is the limited packages within Amazon shop. So we have your limited time gem package which gives you 9,000 gems for 43 sing dollars. So this is in sing dollars. I think it's a bit inflated because there's taxation involved as well. So do take note of that. Other than that, we also have the cool summer special price package. I think it's very, very valuable. Because you get 1,000 stamina as well as 2,700 paid gems. So the price of 1,000 stamina, if you want to calculate, we can take this 500 coffee holic package. So two of it will be $28 and this package is only $22. So you're getting the 1,000 coffee in addition to the 2,700 paid gems for like much lower price compared to this coffee holic stamina. And for the super awakening package, I will scroll through the package list for you guys to see. And this costs you $14 sing dollar. And I think this is so much more valuable than, than the existing one. So if you are a spender and you do spend regularly, then do buy the super awakening package because it's much more valuable in all places. And that's it for the packages. Let us look at the new costumes, which most people will be interested in. So we have your beach cheerleader Sohi. And we also have your prison guard Yuse. Other than that, we also have the returning of all these old costumes. So prepare for them if you're keen to get any of them. For the equipment costume part, we have the triple scoop ice cream and also the soda flavored popsicle. So soda flavored popsicle is a two-handed sword. Triple scoop ice cream is a single-handed sword. And we also have the return for tuna two-handed sword as well as puppy bag basket. And that's it for all the new stuff within Camazon. Let us move on. Next up, we have Jack Frost, which is the exclusive weapon for Favi. So this allows Favi to summon a Frost Fairy, which is able to attack enemies and use Healing Ray during battle. So this Frost Fairy is like a mini snowman that moves automatically similar to Noxia Spirit. Pretty cool on that. And it also gives him the exclusive weapon skill, Heal Storm, which drops Ice Chunk to inflict damage around the target. Sadly, I didn't get the exclusive weapon yet, so I can't showcase the effects as well as animation to you guys. But I think there are some uh, content creators out there who already released the video on this exclusive weapon. So do check out on them if you're keen to find out what is this exclusive weapon about. Other than new exclusive weapon, we also have the improvement to some of the older heroes. So the first one is stats improvement for Lan. So Lan received an attack buff as well as a buff to her chain skill. So her chain skill 
the full off balance increase from 400% DPS to 460% DPS. And we also get some stats buffs for Tinia. So Tinia receives some buff in terms of her HP as well as defense. So all the stats changes will be included on the screen. So you guys can refer to it. And the next hero is Eugene. So Eugene received a buff in terms of her normal attack animation as well as a range attack improvement from her exclusive weapon. So all this I can't really show you guys because there's no numbers or anything. And I do not own a Eugene as well as a Braveheart on this account. So just take note that there's some change to her. Basically basic attack change on the normal attack animation change and also the increase in range damage when she shoots her bullet with her exclusive weapon. And just to apologize for my previous NZ News video, I didn't mean the increase in size for exclusive weapon because I think it would be busted. But the improvement to Marina is actually an improvement to her exclusive weapon hook. So I don't really know whether you guys can tell, but there's a slight increase in radius for her overall hook splash. So that's it for the buff for Marina. And the last new content for this update that most people will be excited for is Unrecorded World Part 2 Nightmare Mode. So the Nightmare Mode will be released in two stages. The first phase we will see Stage 1, Stage 2 as well as Stage 3 being released. And in the second phase we will see Stage 4, Stage 5 as well as Stage 6 being released. So that's the release schedule for the KR side. And I'm pretty sure that's how the global side will function as well. So three stages first and then three stages later. So I already completed everything and I already uploaded everything on the channel. So do check it out if you haven't yet. And other than this new content on the story side, we also have improvement to the co-op mode as well as the introduction of the more levels for Tower Horizons. But I don't think that is something that most people will be interested in. So I will skip on that. So do check it out when it's officially released on the global server. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for tuning in. And do remember to like and subscribe in order to see more news update video from this channel. And I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye guys.